Yo, what's up guys? This is YK44 back with you and today we are going to take a look at the Super Dragon Queen Charge uh, army with the new siege machine which is the Flame Flinger. I'm not gonna say its name too much, it's very complicated to say so I'm gonna say it's just a new siege machine. Alright, let's dive into the first one. So, we're doing some replays here. I couldn't record because I have had a busy day and couldn't, uh, I mean, do the live recording. And you can see we are starting with a queen walk at the 12 o'clock area and we're using some wall breakers, regular one. It's been a while since I saw them, but I had to go ahead and use them uh, because why not? It was just to complete the season challenge and get a quicker book of hero, hopefully. Alright, the queen is working herself out, we are using the new siege machine just behind her. It really does a great job of opening the walls, but I personally think that you should carry your wall breakers because it's a little bit slow. It's a, just a bit slow, a tiny bit slow, uh, a, a bit too slow, like on the side of the too slow, but not exactly too slow. Uh, uh, you get it, you get the point. Just carry some wall breakers. Freeze on those expo and... Inferno tower, multi-inferno. What I'm waiting for is the troops that I have in the clan castle to come out and take out the expo and the multi-inferno. So I'm raging my dragon and balloon that comes out of the you new know, siege machine. They create a really good padding that you can see. It's very narrow, it's like L-shape, like hybrid needs, and the super dragons with the Grand Warden starts along with the Royal Champion. Notice how I don't have my king in this attack? Yeah, that dude is being upgraded, so there's really nothing we can do about it. Uh, if we had a king, and we could use the king on the outside where one super dragon is working, you know, the padding would have been really nice, everything would have stayed on the inside, and the attack would have been even more of an overkill. But since we don't have him, and there's really nothing we can do about it, it works without him, it should work with him as well in your clan wars, right? In your clan wars, clan war leagues, use him wherever you need, and use the spells on top of the queen and the super dragons wherever needed as required. Uh, by the way, a lot of you guys requested me to change the music, background music, so this is the new, new music, let me know how you like it, and if you don't like it, I'm gonna revert back to the older music and we're gonna stick to that because it kind of changes the speed of how I talk usually. Um, I'm talking a little bit faster than I usually do so I'm really looking forward to some feedback. Alright, swag, poison spell on top of the clan castle and it's an overkill. The queen still with her ability. If you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. Let's see if we can get up to 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Alright, next attack. Again, same thing. Using the queen at 9 o'clock, not, not 9 o'clock, it's 3 o'clock, and then the new siege machine which is Flame Flinger. They should have gotten with a better name, trust me. I really think they didn't do a really nice job with the name, but uh, they, they just like kind of got away with it, the way they got away with the update. It wasn't a really good update, <laughs> to be honest. It wasn't worth a really long wait uh, with just two troops. One super troop and one siege machine being released, but it's gonna be the same uh, all the time. The flame flinger, or the new siege machine, is kinda cool in terms of damaging buildings from a distance. You see, it doesn't really get targeted unless it's being targeted by something that has a really good range, like an expo or something. And otherwise, it really does a ton of damage to everything, like buildings, walls, whatever there is. Uh, so my queen is currently combating the single inferno, and I want her to go towards the town hall, which uh, I don't think she will go. So I start my dragons at the 12 o'clock area to drive the queen backwards, right? There you see, the super dragons are being used. Did I say dragon riders? I don't know, I keep calling them dragon riders for some reason. But understand, these are super dragons, not dragon riders. The queen is gonna go back 
and we're gonna freeze the multi and the town hall because okay tesla pops because if she hits the town hall my healers are in the range of the town hall there you go and my healers will be damaged so she does a great job taking on the town hall the siege machine is still going on it's still going on it's at the center of the base it's still going on it's gonna take out the multi along with the queen like help her taking it down because we are running out of spells yeah we're running out of spells we use last rage on top of the healer and the queen also because we know that the dragons from the clan castle are gonna come out there I'm using dragons you can use whatever you like of course real champion still has her health really good queen really good in health super dragons I think all of them survived except maybe one and swag poison again don't have the king yeah, it, it's it's kind of OP. It, it would be an overkill. Um, so guys, a lot of you requested for this army. Uh, I'm here with it. And if you liked it, if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate your support. I wouldn't have been here if it wasn't for you guys. Thank you so much as always. And I'll see you again in the next one. Till then, take care.